Hello, my kindergarten friends. I have another big book for you today. It is called From Caterpillar to Butterfly. It's written by Deborah Helligman and illustrated by Barry Weissman. This is an informational text that tells you how butterflies are formed. From Caterpillar to Butterfly. The table of contents shows it's a paired selection including the informational text from Caterpillar to Butterfly and a folk tale called A Nancy and Grasshopper. I hope you enjoy the book. Today a caterpillar came to school in a jar. It is eating green leaves. It is climbing and wiggling. This tiny caterpillar is going to change. It will change into a beautiful butterfly. Caterpillars usually turn into butterflies outdoors. They live in gardens and meadows and yards, but we will watch our caterpillar change into a butterfly right here in our classroom. This change is called metamorphosis. See, they can see some other butterflies out the window at school. Our caterpillar started out as a tiny egg. The mother butterfly laid the egg on a leaf. A butterfly is an insect. The egg is tiny. It's the size of a pinhead. When the caterpillar hatched out of the egg, it was hungry. It ate its way out of its own eggshell. Then it started to eat green plants right away. The mother butterfly lays her eggs on plants that the caterpillar will eat. These are called host plants. A caterpillar's job is to eat and eat and eat, so it will grow and grow and grow. Is it bigger? Whoops, sorry. Each day when we come into school, we look at our caterpillar. Each day it is bigger. The caterpillar eats and grows for 12 to 14 days. That's just about two weeks. Our skin grows with us, but a caterpillar skin does not grow. When the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, the skin splits down the back. The caterpillar crawls right out of its own skin. It has new skin underneath. This is called molting. Our caterpillar will molt four or five times. After many days, our caterpillar is finished growing. It is much bigger than it was when it first came to school. It is almost as big as my little finger now. Our caterpillar is making a special house. First, it makes a button of silk. It uses this button to hang upside down from the twig. Then it molts for the last time. Instead of a new skin, this time there is a hard shell. This shell is called a chrysalis. Our caterpillar will stay inside the chrysalis for a long time. The chrysalis is also called the pupa. Every day the chrysalis looks the same. We can't see anything happening, but inside the chrysalis our caterpillar is changing. Will our caterpillar ever turn into a butterfly? 
Will it ever come out of its chrysalis? We can hardly wait, but we do. We wait and wait and wait. Then one day during snack time, somebody shouts, look, and we all rush over to see. The chrysalis is cracking. We see a head, a body, and then wings. It's a butterfly. The tiny caterpillar who came to school in a jar turned into a painted lady butterfly, and we saw it happen. Our butterfly is damp and crumpled. It hangs on to the chrysalis while its wings flap, flap, flap. Blood pumps into its wings. The wings straighten out and dry. Soon our butterfly will be ready to dry. In two hours, the wings are dry and the butterfly is ready to fly. Our butterfly cannot stay in the jar. It needs to be outside with flowers and grass and trees and other butterflies. It's a warm spring day. I put my finger into the jar and the butterfly sits on my finger. I pull it out and our butterfly goes free. We feel a little sad and a little happy. We watch our butterfly land on a flower. It will sip the flower's nectar through a long coil tube called a proboscis. Maybe it is a female butterfly. Maybe someday she will lay an egg on a leaf. I know just what will happen. That egg will hatch into a caterpillar, and that caterpillar will turn into a beautiful butterfly. Painted lady butterflies sip nectar from certain flowers. They like thistle, burdock, zinnia, butterfly bush, and mint. These are some different types of butterflies. I'll read a little description of each one. How many different kinds of butterflies can you find around your neighborhood? Here are some common ones to look for. The monarch is found in most areas of the United States. The black swallowtail is found in all areas, but the very far west. The cabbage white is found throughout the United States. The dog-faced butterfly is found throughout the south, migrates through the Midwest to the Northeast and Canada. The common blue is found in the western part of the United States, and the buckeye is found in most areas of the United States except the Pacific Northwest. And here's the folk tale I told you about. This is a story about a Nancy and Grasshopper. It is retold by Olivia Dean. A Nancy wanted to trick Grasshopper. Grasshopper, I know where to find some fine fruits, he said. I will share them with you if you will help me carry them. This is only a little melon, and Nancy said. You take it. I will take something bigger tomorrow. No, 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 said Grasshopper. You keep it, and I will take what we find tomorrow. This is only a little mango. And Nancy said, you take it. I will take something bigger tomorrow. We will find the biggest fruit in the forest, the giant goo-goo. Oh, no, 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 said the grasshopper. You keep it. I will take the giant goo-goo tomorrow. The next morning, a Nancy would not get out of bed. What about the giant goo-goo, grasshopper asked. A Nancy laughed. There is no such thing as a giant goo-goo. I tricked you.
So if someone promises you a giant goo-goo tomorrow, you better think about it. They may be tricking you. And this was called from butterfly, excuse me, from caterpillar to butterfly. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll come back to a quilt in a book again soon to hear another story.